Hey, we're back here on Gadgetplex. We're talking connectivity. We're talking cell phones. And a little bit earlier, we were talking power levels, talking about how a 6 dB increase, it's 3 plus 3, so that means it's four times as much power. Did I get that right, Phil? Uh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I know that you carry a, a f number of products but you concentrate on products from one manufacturer. So maybe you can kind of uh, tell us a little bit about the products and then why you're working with this one company. Sure. Um, you know, we, we try and keep things a little bit simpler at, uh, at Technology because it, it can be very complicated. If you go onto, you know, your search engine and just um, do a search on cell phone boosters, there's a, just a, a confusing array of, of various uh, different manufacturers and products. And, um, you know, it, it really, really was very confusing. So like we do with a lot of other of our products, we, we did our research. Um, we looked at um, not only what we thought were the best products, but also what we thought were the best companies, uh, both in terms of you know who we can work with and also things like who gives us good technical support um, that's something that's that often gets overlooked everybody's very price conscious nowadays but you know it's no good having something that's um, you know inexpensive and then as soon as you try and you know call to, to uh, diagnose a problem or get some help you know you're on hold for three quarters of an hour and then you can't understand whoever it is that you're talking to so, so we try and put all of those things into the mix and um, you know Wilson Electronics is the company that, that we selected and, and you know we're an authorized distributor of. Uh, they're based in Utah. They're an American company. Um, all of these products are American designed. Um, and, um, you know, we, they, we really have, uh, have worked very closely with them to try and pull together what we think are the um, kind of like a subset of their products that would be most appropriate and most useful um, for, uh, for our viewers. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm familiar with Wilson Electronics. They've they've been a very, very good name for probably 35 or 40 years in the in the amateur radio marketplace, and also in uh, public safety. So uh, uh, they certainly have a reputation uh, that they have upheld well for many, many years. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you look, my, my my face looks a little bit strange. My light. We talked about gremlins earlier, so now my battery-powered uh, video light is given out. I'm on a flashlight. Well, you, you know, you got to adapt as you go as you go forward here. And, and we were joking about Phil Spector, but but uh, <laughs> uh, some of us got the joke, some of us didn't. But uh, anyway, uh, so so let's uh, step through and take a look at some of the products that uh, you found. You know, you and your field testers have found to be effective particularly for our viewers. Right. Sure. Okay. So if we if we have the first slide there, um, <clears throat> I think what so, so uh, we mentioned about the you know the two things that are most important when you're looking to boost the signal. Uh, one is the antenna, and the other is the is the actual transmit power or some kind of booster. So so this is a directional antenna. Um, if you can then this is the best type of antenna that you can have. You point it in the direction of where the signal is coming from and you get the most gain, and we know how we measure that now in the dBs, um, because it's pointing in that direction. So that's, that's a really good um, uh, antenna. If we go on to the next one, that's not always um, kind of practical when you're in an RV because you don't really know where the tower is because, you know, in a, in a home you would know, but as, you, as you're moving around, you, know, you don't know. So, so what we're seeing there is, a, is an omnidirectional trucker antenna. Um, nice thing about that is omnidirectional, just meaning the signal can come from anywhere. And also at the bottom you can see it's got a kind of a spring mount. Um, that, that is very useful and a lot of people come by their bo our booth and, and you know, uh, said how glad they are that it's got a spring mount because it's, you know, when you're driving your RV around and, and remember this would be mounted on the roof or, or on the ladder, it's very easy to get caught on a tree and so on. Yeah, oh, so, so absolutely. Those are, those are very popular. Yeah, and, and of course <laughs> one of the great things is, is that these are, are passive devices. You don't have to feed uh, uh, power, power to them. And, uh, and you're going to get the, the benefits of, uh, of increased gain on transmit and receive because it works both ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you know, a, a, few, a few years ago, when uh, cell phones would have uh, antenna connections, then, then a lot of people would use these types of antennas and just plug them directly into the cell phone. And, you know, you could get from three to six times dB gain, which we now know is, you know, two to four times uh, an improvement. And so they really used to work well. It's got a little bit harder now because, you know, bless them, the cell phone companies decided they didn't want to offer that, uh, those features. And so now we need to move on to other ways 
of connecting to the cell phone um, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, couple of graphics there which I can show you some good options for that. Okay. What are some other devices that you've uh, got in your kit here? Okay, so if we so, so that there um, it is it's a basically a cradle mount. Uh, this is the the least expensive. It's called the Sleek, and it's a, it's around a hundred bucks, and um, it's designed so that you just pop your cell phone in and then adjust the the little um, little grip there, so it, it can have cell phones of different size. And inside that uh, that little cradle is a small antenna, and that's picking up the signal directly from the um, from the cell phone and then feeding it into an amplifier that's built inside that little cradle which then boosts it and sends it out through one of those uh, bigger antennas so that's how you're getting a better antenna connected and you're getting a boost because you've got the um, the amplifier there yeah just offhand how much uh, power uh, improvement does that uh, does that give in combination of antennas plus the amplifier so <clears throat> they, they um, it, it depends a lot, but somewhere between ten and twenty times um, wow. the the actual um, yeah output that you would get on a normal uh, cell phone. So it's it's pretty significant. I mean, again, I was messing on the booth today with something very similar to that, and I got about a twenty dB gain by putting my cell phone into um, the um, into the cradle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, so what let's say if we go to the next? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just I was just going to ask uh, what other devices that uh, that you might have. We might run a little bit long here, but I want to make sure that we cover this. Okay, that's that's just showing you if you um, want to mount one of those cradles into the car where you would put it, you can put it on the dash, plugs into the cigarette socket, and it also comes with a little mag mount on the roof. Um, so it's a it's a very portable and convenient type device. If we go on to the next graphic, here you can see um, the uh, this is kind of like a, 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 a very small office or desktop kind of booster. You can see the the couple there. She's on the cell phone and he's um, got a little data card onto his laptop. And the, the little kind of black mini tower thing on the table is a, is a small local antenna. So, so what that's doing is that's picking up the signal from, from both her phone and the, and the data card. And then if you go on to the next slide, you'll see there's a little um, um, graphic which shows, okay, that's a, that's a um, kind of a close-up. Go on to the next one. And then you can see how it is, how it's installed. You can see there's the desk. It's, uh, there's the amplifier there plugged in. And then there's the external amplifier, which can either be located on the window. That's what the little good means. Uh, you can stick it onto the window just for ease of installation. That's often a big issue for people. Or if you want, then you can go up into the um, attic or the loft and have it have that um, antenna mounted up high. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we, we talk about data cards and, and we forget that that's actually a, uh, a third generation cell phone technology and uh and so if you are improving your cell phone signal you're going to be uh improving that data connectivity as well yeah but yeah very much so you you'll not only be able to connect in areas where you wouldn't but you'll get uh, better throughput just like we talked about with with the wi-fi mm -hmm. the um well, I think we've gone through a number of uh, devices that can uh, help solve uh, this problem. You know, one of the things we do in every Gadgetplex episode, we have the unboxing, and we've done the post office part of it. But when we come back, we're going to take a look and see what mystery device has come from Techno RV to our RBNN studios here. Stay tuned. Got a question or comment for Gadgetplex's Phil May? Send him an email at gadgetplex at rvnn.tv or leave a voicemail for Phil at 877-578-RVNN, extension 703. Follow RV Newsnet on Facebook and Twitter, and you can receive text messages to alert you when we're streaming live by texting RVNN to 72727. That way, you can join us live in the chat room, ask questions, and become part of the RV Newsnet family. Remember, any photos or other material submitted to us become the property of RV News Net and cannot be returned. Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad.